So we're never actually going to catch that guy, which is too bad. So we're just going to go ahead and rest up with this dude. Take Leo, no defense, and possibly backdoor for France. Right, because they could come backdoor. And also, one of the city-states actually had a mission for me to try to take that. So we are losing money right now. Uh, because we did get some buildings out of here, and right now the tax revenue is not great. Also, they're not actually connected to our road network. Which we could do quite cheaply. Attila declares war on Catherine. Oracle built enemy nearby. Yada, yada, yada. This is all fine. Uh, yeah. So you'll still, you'll only pay me one. You know what? I'm going to take it because actually I could use a little bit of money right now. A little bit of unhappiness. A lot of isolation penalties going on. We can resolve that pretty quick. And I think a road here is always going to be useful to reinforce this area. Even though it's going to cost us an extra couple of bucks. That's okay. Oh, great harvest in Toulouse. 50 extra food. Thank you very much. Catapult done. Uh, we do still have some iron. So... Two catapults is probably sufficient. I'm going to need another legion, and then we're going to figure out what we're going to do next. Um, these resources are all being hooked up, which is great and groovy. You are going to heal up in there. Likewise, also very fine. We're going to move you forward. I know you're not fully healed, but that's okay. Maybe I'll go ahead and threaten that guy and see what he wants to do. Um... Yeah, you do that. I'm going to cancel your current, like, sort of big job, construct the road there, and then I'll get this guy to go sideways to Navarra, hook all that up. And you definitely have to heal. And you could go up. We could actually just glance a bit. Oh, that's the last you're moving right with the thing. Um, an archer here actually couldn't shoot us. The city, if it has range too, could shoot us. But I don't think they're actually set up for that, so that should be fine. Catapult, you are going to take the bonus versus cities, definitely. Not the wounded units. And we'll get you to swing over here as well. So it's going to take a while to get there, but I think it's going to be worth it. I'm going to keep the um, Great General slightly further back. And next turn. Boom! We have marble! Hooray! So that's another one we can trade. I have to find someone with actual money, because we are losing some money right now. I'm actually going to say yes to her for this. I don't actually want her to be attacking me right now. This might mollify her for a little while. Losing one iron is not going to be a problem. Because we're about to hook up some more and everything. It's going to be okay. I'm going to say yes. Plus, if she declares war on me, then she loses the iron. So, done. Would you be interested in a trade agreement with England? I would be very interested in a trade agreement. Do you have more money for me? Six gold per turn for my extra marble. Awesome. You're telling me I have a weak army. Um, okay. Oh, what the? France trying to, to backdoor me over here. I don't think they're going to get very far with, like, a single unit, considering I can bombard them. It's a little potentially scary with the catapult, but not really. I don't have any workers over there. We're fine. How interesting. How very interesting. Alright, so your job is going to be to build that road over there. Which I think is going to be quite handy. And you're going to keep building road in this direction for now. You've hooked that up, which is great. So I'm going to get you to start on this bad boy here. Yeah, I'd really rather she didn't declare war on me right now. A war with Carthage would be inconvenient. So that's going to eat all our movements. So we're not even going to be able to take another attack. I'll tell you what, let me start with this. So I can spot... Well, I don't know. The skirmisher is not bad. Instrument combat strength 10. Also 10. Skirmisher is more valuable. Oh yeah, you've got nothing in the city. Holy crap. And the worker's trying to run away. Oh, and a policy! Well, we're going to finish tradition. Whoopah! So what's the bonus for finishing it on this one? 
Mm, hanging Gardens. Oh, Hanging Gardens only unlocks when you finish a tree. Ah. Plus one food from all great person improvements and landmarks. Throne Room and Capital gets better. So this one, this tile um, over here is even better than it was. Yeah, three food from this tile. Stupendous. Make an event choice. Debate in council. Your advisors approach you, each looking harried and frustrated. Apparently, they've been arguing back and forth all night, trying to find an idea to deliver to you, yet their differences were irrecon irreconcilable. They come to you, then, with four proposals, each which may bring benefit to your empire. What would you like? Host a gala. 50% uh, chance to gain 50 culture. Meh. Uh, fund a research grant on the nature and origin of efficiency. 50% chance of science. 50% chance of 100 gold. 50% chance of 100 golden age points. I'm going to go for the 50% chance of 100 gold. Because... Reasons. I don't know. The science boost... That's two turns worth of science. That's a lot of turns worth of gold, though. I want the money. It'll probably fail. Oh, it didn't fail. We got it. Hooray. Okay. I like money. I kept my expansion promise to Carthage. Apparently. <laughs> Except not. I don't know. So, we are five turns away from walls over here, which will make me feel a hell of a lot better about the situation there. A hell of a lot better. Yay! We can writh now, you guys. We're really good at writhing. Pew! Pew! Damn pillagers. Pew, pew! I mean, they can't threaten me here. They're actually just going to lose some units. But it is kind of annoying. And... You can pew, then move there. Your job is going to be to move around to here and prepare for some attacks later on. And move forward. Uh, that's probably okay. I don't think we need, like, backup melee guy. Just looking to annoy this guy. Uh, in the forest, it's probably fine. I mean, I probably don't need to be going quite so bold over here. I should probably chill out just a wee bit against France. Um, so yeah, extra melee. This guy's going to be fine to take the city. He can pillage. He's fine. So I'm going to go and bring you back over this way. That's going to be okay. Or I could keep an extra dude over here by Malaga. Malaga. Yeah, I'm working near Paris. Mm-hmm. Paris, look, Paris looks like a crappy city. Well, it did have a bit of a hard time when we had, like, a multi-hundred-year war early on. Paris will look a lot better when it's flying Roman purple colors. You are going to pillage and move to here. Pew! Um, pew and move to here. Excellent. Um, stay there. You pewed already, so stop. We are just going to pull back over here. Damn pillagers. Not really anything I can do about them. I can chase them down with this legion when it gets built, and that's going to be okay. Losing a little bit of money, that's alright. <laughs> these damn I want these... <laughs> I need these to be able to build units. But we, we have an unhappiness problem, so it's not like I can go and afford to annex them now without courthouses. I need to get served in my libraries, now that we have writing. I mean, there's the tribal council thing, or whatever it's called, so you do get science buildings earlier in this. With your gold maybe by the Straits of Gibraltar, it's to lock it to anyone coming through. It's a very good idea. I did promise not to... Sp you know what? She already hates me. Who cares, right? Well, I mean... Well, no, actually, I guess yeah, I probably want to control that right there, yeah. And the 120. You're absolutely right. Although, I can't buy the one over here. It's out of range, right? One, two, three. Oh, no, 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 of course not. I'm getting a pop-up. Derp, derp. Yeah, so it's going to piss her off a bunch. But there we go. Control over the straight. Very good call. So... 
So over here we actually can't reach. Um, but I can reach from here. Do that and that, and that's going to be okay. Oh, another great person. You're going to actually just tank it out. We'll heal next turn. That's going to be fine. You've got that hooked up. Lovely. Yeah, you can just help with this road segment. That's going to be okay. Minor victory. Yeah, I'll take it. And this catapult will not be needed for Lyon. So we're just going to get it to move forward over here. And that's going to be fine. Legion done. We're actually going to try to hunt down this guy. I need a combat strength. And Gaius Marius can follow you. That's going to be great. Bombard, end your turn. Legion done. We do still have iron, but um, library market is what I'm thinking. I think we've got enough units to finish what we're looking to do. Event choice, we've got uh, a vein of blue marble. So we can boast of it, give us 50 gold and 10 years of, or 10 turns of We Love the King Day, or give it to our artists, so this would turn into 80 culture. So 50 gold and some We Love the King Day, or 80 culture. I'm going to go for the 80 culture. I think that's going to be nice. A little bit more border pressure, not to mention just cultural policy stuff. Mm -hmm. So we got about 45 minutes left to go. I will remind people again that actually Firaxis is going to be hosting a Civ 6 stream after this one. No, they don't like pay me to promote it or anything like that. I just thought it would be pretty relevant to you guys. I don't know. I just assume that you guys would be the sort of people who would be interested in watching some Civ 6 stuff. Um, I think it's possible they might be covering some religion things in that stream, so keep your eyes peeled for that. All right, you, set up. Bombard Lyon. There we are. Uh, pew, 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 and pew. Okay, and now it's time for you to pillage. And then keep being fortified over there. You are done healing up. I might keep you in Navarre, actually. Offset some of the unhappiness gains over there would be quite nice. Actually, Toulouse is probably complaining about crime. Yeah, so having a unit in there would be kind of helpful. But... I think I want to, like, keep sort of this front building up. That's going to be okay. Why does my Venice can't bombard over there? Maybe it already did this turn. That's possible. So you're done that. You can come over here. I guess you could build the farm there, too. You're good. You bombarded, so just end your turn. You bombarded, so end your turn. One of you is building a road, so actually you can come down here and start that farm. That's going to be lovely. Okay. Barracks done. I don't think we need a third catapult. I don't think I'm going to build any more regular archers, because I don't really have the money to upgrade them. Another legion might actually just be overkill. So I think what we're going to do... Oh, we don't have a council here yet. Council into library. I mean, our money kind of sucks too. Herbalist here would also be extraordinarily strong with the food. Actually, let's do that. Let's get Toulouse to grow a little bit more first. We Again, we kind of need everything, which is pretty standard. Die, bastard. And Geneva is... I'm a dishonorable person. I take promises, especially broken promises, very seriously. Sorry this caused a divide. Right, I did buy those tiles. So she's kind of upset about that. Is she going to settle there? Can she? I think she can. One, two, three. Oh, no, she can't. Never mind. I do want the fish, but right now the fish is not at risk of being lost. So I'm not too worried about that. Mm-hmm. Bam. And you can move to there. And catapult, go. Bombard with all the things. Any chance I could take it already? No. So do I want to bombard with the archer or run away with the archer? Or, or heal up. This is a triple promoted archer. I definitely do not want to lose it. 
And Neon's going to fall next turn regardless. So let's just back away with this archer. I think that's fair. Um, and maybe Oliver Cromwell will move back a little bit. Just to make sure. Wall's done! Hooray! Um, now getting a little bit of cultural pressure would be good. And then after that, it's probably going to be like food production, things like that. Mm. We'll see. Road's nearly done over here. That's going to be nice. So Lyon falls next turn, and then we march on Paris. It's being bombarded. That's fine. Actually, I'm going to try to save the skirmisher to attack this guy, because he can probably kill him. England wants friendship! Yes! I'm a totally friendly guy. Any reports about warmongering on city-states and on the French? Well, I mean, I think England appreciates the fact that I'm war against France. I mean, that is a historical, a not very good relationship throughout most of history, until maybe the last century. Catapult. And just another little love tap. Actually, I'm going to save you. I'm going to use these guys. There we go. Because you have no chance of actually reaching there. So we'll create another puppet. Boom! Lots of buildings. It's going to cost us more money, but it is going to be better in the long run. You do have an upgrade. Uh, so I guess we'll keep going down the accuracy tree. And yeah, I was afraid of that. Not quite finishing that guy. And I'm not sure, actually, that I can get another bombard. Uh, no, I don't think I can. Oh, well, that's okay. Might be possible for Paris to bombard me from here. Ooh, that might turn out really good. Hmm, interesting. So, we're going to start moving the Great General up over here, too. With Double Great General, we've got some interesting possibilities. So, you've got no bombards or anything left. So, just scooch over here so we can see things. And, yeah, you can't... Um... Oh, yeah, there's units all over the place. Yeah, I can't get the other extra shot over there. Because that'll all end the turn. This will end my turn. I think this will end my turn. This is a hilly, though. Yeah. Alright, so we're just going to get this archer to come up this way. It's fine. I'm not going to move up the catapult yet. You can get a promotion. Wonderful. We're going to give you the flank attack, I think. The melee bonus to attacking cities is less relevant. It's really good early on when you can rush some cities and mostly just like by smashing your face into the city, but that's no longer going to be the case here. Legion was bombarded by Paris. Okay, so they do have a, an attack range of two now on their cities. So we have to keep that in mind. In no! One of these days, I'm accidentally going to hit yes on the do you want to sell me a, a city button. I'm not going to like that. Devil Seeker, thank you very much for the tip. Insert meaningful quote here. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Long time fan. Keep up the amazing work. Thank you very much, Devil Seeker. Appreciate that. Lisbon. Oh, yes. Thank you. Is bun. Boom. Excellent. Alright. March. And... Let's move the... Ah, come on. Move the units on the front first. Charge. Charge. Mm -hmm. uh, you sit there. I think I'm okay here. Because I can do that. Uh, Paris can bombard this guy. So I probably have to pull back. But I don't know. I mean, I can do this. Can you kill me? Well, maybe with the bombard and everything else. I don't know. I could always fortify here. It's probably okay. I'll heal a bit. Mostly be full. I'm in the forest. These guys are all damaged. Bombard's not going to kill me by itself. Sure, it's fine. Um, I'm a little worried that there's going to be an, a French person over here that's going to take my general, but I'm being a little bit blasé with him. But that's all right. We're losing 15 gold per turn. Hooray! <clears throat> I 
I could sell my extra iron to people. I've got the extra marble as well. Oops. Here, I'll take five. <clears throat> but yeah, it is actually tempting to sell my extra iron. Because I don't think I need much more. Hostile, hostile, neutral, and quite wealthy. And you know what? Honestly, if the Zulus start doing trouble against Carthage, that wouldn't be too bad for me. What would you give me for a couple of these? Just two gold per turn. That's pretty shitty, actually. There we go. Worth a lot more. Although you have no gold per turn. I will trade you one iron for... Um... 68 flat gold? Or 52 is all you've got. Hmm... I don't think it's worth the money. We'll just have to fix our money after. It's fine. <laughs> don't sell it to Dido. She hates you. Yeah, but that's okay. Because if she declares war on me, she loses her iron. Which is fine. So she can build units and then be at negative iron. I am still worried about an invasion over here. I feel a lot better when I upgrade this uh, archer to a bowman. So we get our Colosseum. All seems quite nice. Look at that. Plus three production rate. Yeah, plus three hammers, plus three culture. Beautiful. Uh, oh no! Lost 50 gold at random! Stupid event. <sighs> plus one range, minus 20% range combat strength. That is so painful, but honestly, is probably a good idea for balance. It's probably a really good idea, and I've hesitated doing it so far. Even indirect fire gives you a 10% combat penalty. I think it's going to be a good idea to get at least one or two archers at plus one range. Because it just makes it a lot easier to range things. Although, indirect is actually the biggest problem right now. But I don't like having indirect fire on someone with range two. It doesn't come up that often. We can get the indirect fire afterwards. For a whopping minus 30% to our range combat strength. It's probably a really good change. The fact that I keep hesitating about this means it's probably actually really well balanced. But it hurts so bad! Cover is good for winning the, the battles, but so does plus one range. And I, I want to get some plus one range units. Because one or two gives you a lot of tactical options. But it means I'm not going to upgrade everyone to, to plus one range. I'm not going to upgrade everyone to plus one range. Just one or two... They can stand behind the others who just, you know, have their regular combat boosts and whatnot. You, uh, you're still in bombard range. Um, but this guy, actually, I'm going to give him cover, then do this. I mean, there's a lot of shitty modifiers going on, but that's going to be okay. And you, ooh, that's an interesting choice. What is this? Woodsman. Double, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to give you double cover, healing you. Move you down here. Oh, well, in my turn, I was going to say, I can do this um, and then pillage, but no, I can't. And I can't do that either. So just tank up there, that's going to be okay. There's enough damage stuff, I may actually be able to put the um, the catapult here and be fine. I think I'm just going to move in on mass with melee units. Not planning on assaulting the city quite yet, but... Actually, let me do this. Hmm. Yeah, and if I move here, it'll end my turn. I'm like, can I heal up? I guess I'm going to do nothing with this catapult this turn. It definitely hurts a little bit, but it's not too bad. Caravan! Still my one and only. Mostly just need gold. We'll send you to Bucharest. Actually, that can help bring uh, religion here. Or Belgrade, just to complete the quest. Yeah, let me do that. Not that internal food would be too bad either. Chariot Archer, I think... Uh, we're not going to upgrade you, but you're an excellent contender for cover since you do have to get so damn close to things. Let's see here. 
Move up. Um, accuracy. Okay. So we're a little heavy on melee by Paris, but other than that, it feels like France is just going to continue getting obliterated. We're getting bombarded here, but we're getting XP. We've got double cover. So the bombard's really not doing a whole lot. I don't know why they're prioritizing that one. It is higher, um, higher strength, and it does have lower health, so I guess that kind of makes sense. But I'm not sure that that's the one you can inflict the most damage to, which is usually how I determine my bombards. It's who am I doing the most net damage to, but sometimes there's other things that come into play. Mm, right, so farm that. And... That's, yeah, so I don't think that puts me in critical range. It might. Oh, shit, I did that wrong. I didn't realize I'd be able to move this guy and attack. I forgot there was a road here. So I done screwed up because I could have taken the worker. I mean, I'll still get the worker, but I could have gotten the worker sooner. Some more shock. The flanking is really going to start to be quite valuable now. Move yourself to the front. Um, Oliver Cromwell, I mean, yeah, sure. Two great generals got to be better than one, right? Okay, so it makes literally no difference. You just heal a tick. Move up. Let's do that. Don't go out to sea yet. We've got this, we've got that. Composite Bowman coming up soon. I'll appreciate the upgrade of my archer there. Not that we're really going to have the money for it. But hey, we're going to pillage Paris soon, so that'll be something. Look at all these cargo ships. They have double trade routes, clearly. Dun, dun, dun. Don't think Quill wants to work with minus 16 gold per turn. Oh, that's an interesting point. You're right, it would cost me the extra cash. But we could always just, I don't know, disband them or whatever. We'll figure out. Life uh, finds a way. You know what I should do with Geneva? Let's drop a freaking citadel on their ass. Oh. Hello. Sup, Korea? How much money you got? The answer is some. And you really, really want iron. Excellent. Because they were valuing more, valuing it more than everyone else. Really, really, really good. I don't suppose I can get like a better rounding thing. No, no, there's no, there's no way. Here you go, buddy. And I will um, accept your embassy. How's that? Six gold per turn. Good. Yeah, we, we're going to be fine without the extra two points of iron. Mismanagement loses some food. Hooray! My people are starving? That doesn't sound like my kind of game at all. Wait. Walls. I mean, I should probably get walls in Rome to prevent me from being, like, ninja by frickin' Carthage or something like that. But I think the water mill makes more sense first. Alright, let's deal with things up here first. Set up. Start bombarding the city. Um, let's just fortify up and sit here and passively heal some stuff. You are in my way. And that's annoying me. I've declared war for less. So we got the camp here already. You're good? You're good? No, you're not good. Yes, you You got the camp. Um, so I'll probably do things like river up, farm up along the river here. Actually, there's a river right here too, so that looks pretty good. Um, second cat. So I can catapult from there. But I think the right thing to do is to pull back with you. Hello, England. Move here. Right, I guess I should pillage the camp. Do I want you to have plus one range? Actually, you might be... Oh, you've got indirect fire. Excellent. Right, and the sniper ability, which is pretty freaking awesome. 
Indirect fire snipers. Sounds good to me. Which isn't really going to come into play, but we're going to hit the city a little bit and keep that guy weak in there. It's going to be fine. Um, move a great general there. And I don't know. We don't need both, but maybe it'll give me more options on follow-up turns. Can I not use this road? It's in neutral territory, but it's not accelerating my movement. That ate all four movement. Why? Why four? 